Hello everyone, I am Manas Bichu and I am pursuing integrated MTech from IIT SDAVV in Indore. In this video, we will talk about Introduction to Software Defined Networking or SDN. So, this is a key terminology when we talk about the Internet of Things. So, what is Internet of Things? So, let's define the Internet of Things or IoT. The Internet of Things or IoT is a system of interrelated computing devices, mechanical and digital machines provided with unique identifiers or UID. So, in IoT, all these devices have the ability to transfer the data over a network without requiring human intervention. So, this is a field of automation where the devices are able to communicate with each other through networking. So, in order to do this networking, we use what uh, we use this topic of SDN or software defined networking, which we will be talking about in this lecture today. So, let us understand why we are using SDN or what were the current disadvantages in the scenario which led to the invention of SDN. So, technology was not designed keeping today in mind. So, earlier technology which was being used before SDN was not implementing some key features which SDN provides such as massive scalability, multi-tenant networks, virtualization, cloud computing, mobility and the protocols were box centric, not fabric centric. They were difficult to configure correctly, difficult to add new features was a key point as well as they were difficult to debug. So these were some key problems which were solved by SDN. SDN provided really massive scalability to all the Internet of Things devices by implementing the software based networking. Also, it made the use of virtualization, cloud computing, Docker, Kubernetes to connect the Internet of Things devices with each other. It also provided mobility to the users as the software de uh, defined networking could be done through various mobile networks such as a person sitting in India could easily control any IoT device which is being used in say USA. So let us understand what exactly is SDN. So SDN is a framework to allow network administrators to automatically and dynamically manage and control a large number of network devices through software. So it was kept in a basic fact which was kept in mind while de designing SDN was was that people can do the networking using the software. In software defined network, a network engineer or administrator can shape traffic from a centralized control console without having to touch individual switches in the network. So no hardware interference is there. All you need is a central software or a central console which needs to be programmed by the administrator or the engineer. The centralized SDN con uh, controller directs the switches to deliver network services wherever they are needed. So SDN, as you can see, SDN is pretty cool topic as all the hardware comes uh, goes out of the picture. All you need is a central software uh, SDN controller which does all the networking, all the network packets are transferred through this protocol of the software defined networking. It is gaining prominence among technologies for its dis disruptive quality. SDN is an approach to networking that enables network nodes to be managed through programming rather than traditional administration systems. So all you need to do is write a code or write a program which will do the networking for you. So let us understand the architecture of software defined networking in detail. So basically the SDN consists of three layers. The first layer is known as the application layer. The second layer is the control layer and the third layer or the final layer is known as the infrastructure layer. So the application layer is the layer which the end users see. It's the layer which the IoT devices reside upon. This layer consists of all the business applications which are being run on our IoT devices. This application layer is the layer through which the user interacts with her devices, the IoT devices on a network. This application layer is connected via uh, application programmer interface or API to the control layer. So what exactly is the control layer? So the control layer is the main layer in our SDN architecture. The control layer can be said as it is the brain of our SDN architecture because it carries the main SDN control software which does all the networking for us. It provides all the network services to our IoT devices through the network control software or the SDN control software. Then comes the last layer, which is the infrastructure layer. So the infrastructure layer uses protocols such as OpenFlow, which was designed by Google to do the networking and connect the control layer with infrastructure layer. 
So the infrastructure layer mainly consists of all the routes and all the switches which need to be connected to the control layer or the SDN control software through any protocol such as OpenFlow. So there are, as you can see in the diagram, various network devices are connected from the infrastructure layer to the control layer using protocols such as OpenFlow. These are the definitions of the layers. So I read the definition. Infrastructure layer is the foundation layer which consists of both physical and virtual network devices such as switches and routers. All the network devices will implement open flow protocol to implement traffic forwarding rules. Control layer consists of centralized control plane that is decoupled from physical infrastructure to provide centralized global view to the entire network. The layer will use open flow protocol to communicate with below layer which is the infrastructure layer. And the final layer of the application layer consists of the network switch services application and orchestration tools that are used to interact with control layer. It provides an open interface to communicate with other layers in the architecture. So I hope I was able to teach you the SDN layers in a brief and short ma manner. Now let us understand what open flow protocol is. So as we discussed earlier, this open flow protocol is used between the infrastructure layer and the control layer to do all the networking in our devices. Open flow was an open source API which provides standard interface for programming. Well, it is implemented on Ethernet switches to allow the forwarding of the data packets or the network packets between the devices or between the routes in our IoT devices. OpenFlow based controllers will discover and maintain inventory to all the links in the network and then will create and store all possible paths in entire network. So you can see it is a pretty cool network which we don't need to manage anything from the outside. It takes care of all the networking in huge amount of detail. OpenFlow protocol can instruct switches and routers to directly redirect the traffic by providing software-based access to flow tables. So the flow tables are the tables which consist of the flow of the network or the routing of the network. So the OpenFlow takes care of our flow tables which can be used to quickly change the network layout and traffic flows as per our requirement. So what was the need of as need for the SDN virtualization. Why do we need SDN? So with SDN, without worrying about where the devices are located, the geographical location of Internet of Thing devices, we can easily do the networking. How much is it? This is, an al this is also an important factor when it comes to the IoT devices that there are, there can be millions or billions of devices interconnected with each other. So how can we manage millions of devices sitting in our office, so SDN comes into action. With a single program, we can manage millions of devices and we can easily network the switches and routes with the ability to do it, do it to our offices. Also, it is an organized way to do things. The code is pretty simple and languages such as C++, C and Java can be used for the purpose of doing the SDN. SDN orchestration should be able to control and manage thousands of devices with one command. So there can be more devices, there can be millions of devices, but with ease, you can also manage devices with a single command for the SDN networking. Also, we can program the devices without being able to change the behavior of the devices on the fly. Also, we, can able, we are able to change the size, quantity, and capacity of devices in our network with ease. Also, the need of SDN automation was to lower the op operation expenditures, also to minimize the manual involvement in the networking. It also helps us to troubleshoot where there are errors in our network. It also reduces a huge amount of downtime in our networking. Also, it enforces a policy or an agreement which all the companies using the IoT devices need to follow. It does the provisioning, reprovisioning and segmentation of all the resources in our IoT network and also all the new devices, sites and workloads can be added with pretty much ease. So the internals of SDN. So an SDN consists of applications, network operating system, as well as the ASIC or the hardware. So the application is connected with an operating system of the network. This network OS is then connected with a switch operating system and a switch hardware. This is the SDN switch decoupled stack or the stack which is used by SDN for connecting the hardware with the software based networking or software defined networking. So the southbound API is an API which decouples the switch hardware from control function. Also 
switch operating system exposes switch hardware primitives. So let us now understand that how SDN works. So SDN encompass encompasses several types of technologies including functional separation, network virtualization and automation through programmability. Originally SDN technology focused only on separation of the network. But in these days, the control plane makes decision about how packets should flow through the network as well as the data plane actually moves packets from one place to the another. In a classic SDN scenario, a packet arrives at a network switch and rules built into the switch proprietary framework will tell the switch where to forward the packet. So as you can see, it's a pretty easy framework to implement. SDN consists of applications, controller and switches. A switch, also known as a data device, does all the querying in the controller and it provides the controller with information about traffic which, is, which it handles. The main use of switch is to send the packet going to the, de uh, the destination or where the user wants to send the data. So as you can see this switch is connected to the controller and the main use of controller is to do all the software defined networking and the application layer consists of all the business applications in our devices. So what is the current status of SDN? So Google built an hardware and software based on the open flow protocol. Also VMware purchased Nikira for $1.26 billion in 2012. So Nikira was a company which provided SDN services to various businesses and enterprises. So VMware purchased it in 2012. Also companies such as IBM, HP, Cisco, NEC and Juniper are using SDN. They also incorporate the open flow protocol which was built using Google but also have other elements that are specific to that vendor and their gear. So we will see the conclusion and the future scope of SDN. So in future networking will rely more on software to pick up the pace and the innovation in the networks. So as we can see while using SDN we are removing the use of hardware in for the networking. We are not using any switches or any routers to do our networking. We are just using a software which does deliver the packet from one device to another. Also, SDN will transform today's static network into more flexible networks. It will be providing scalability to support big data or large data centers. It will also provide virtualization or cloud computing which is needed for the elasticity, scalability, dynamic and secure environment in our cloud. And also, mostly implementing new proposed systems, frameworks and applications would be easy with the use of SDN. Thank you.